you think that you went through, say, uh, your formative years going to the public library um, and that access to information was um, neutral or that it didn't um, shape your worldview, um, then it uh, would be real fun to go back to the Dewey uh, Library schedule and see exactly how white Anglo-Saxon Protestant um, all those systems have uh, grown up to be. For the religion um, category, so the 200s, um, about 90% of that is devoted just to very granular descriptions of Christianity. Um, and we get like 10 to 20 numbers to describe um, all of the rest of world religions um, to the point where um, some religions aren't uh, represented at all except for as like other miscellaneous, et cetera. I research uh, knowledge organizations, specifically how people create, uh, maintain, and uh, design systems of knowledge organization like classification systems, metadata schemas, subject headings. What's become a big theme of my research is the invisibility of systems. So in a lot of areas of design, what we aim for is to make a system unobtrusive so that it doesn't interfere with the user, so the user doesn't notice a system at all. Uh, and I found that that ends up being uh, the cause of a lot of harm in knowledge organizations. The best way I've found to do that research is to look behind the scenes at what design work is um, and ask designers a lot of questions that they've never really had to justify before about why they're doing something a certain way. Um, basically combine technical expertise in what the systems do uh, with a lot of like human focus, ethnographic work on what the workers are bringing to that uh, task.